So here it is, my Blackthorn bow stave. This was taken from a tree that was harvested just over eight months ago, worked down into this bow shape and then put indoors, clamped to a form for 13 days, during which time it's lost 11% of its moisture and reduced its weight by 85 grams. Blackthorn is not normally associated with being a good bow wood. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it next. The thing is though, it's a lovely wood to work with. This is an offcut from the end of the stave. I've polished the bark, made a knot groove as if it's a bow, and it's come up beautifully. So I wonder if I can make a bow out of it. Can I make a bow that keeps the bark on as well? A robin's nest behind me. You see, I don't know whether blackthorn bends very well. Will the bark crack if I leave it on? Should the design be wide and flat? Or should it be D-shaped like some U-bows are? So for me, this bow will be an experiment. It certainly doesn't seem like a long bow. It's a good 10 inches shorter than the bow I made before this one, a hazel long bow. So what I intend to do, using my limited experience, is invent some dimensions, apply them to the bow and work down to them. I should make the bow with a flattish belly, keep the back as it is, slightly rounded, round the sides slightly, and then see what happens next. So now I'm going to re-establish a centre line, draw some guidelines on the bow and start work. Okay, that's that job done now. That's the width profile, the taper, all the way from the handle out to the tips. The next, the depth profile. That is the depth from the back to the belly of the bow. Once again, a taper from the tip up to the handle. always a good idea to stop and take stock, to glance at where I've been and to look at where I hope to get to. So far I've worked this stave down from 1400 grams to 990 grams. Its width at the centre is 35 millimetres, its depth is 28 millimetres and it tapers to the tips which are around about 40 millimetres square. It's got a very flattish belly and I'm starting to follow the contours of the back of the bow. It's not there yet but it's not long now before I think about putting this bow on the tiller.
Okay, this is the first gentle pull of this blackthorn bow, just to see if it'll bend and where it bends. Well, it's the start. Well, progress is slow, but now the tips are moving about six inches. So, that's this Blackthorn bow now at a low gray size, ready for the next stage of tillery. I'll see you next time.